Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at playing regular TurboGrafx-16 games as well as TurboGrafx CD games. So as usual, the first step is to hack your system. I'll have a hacking tutorial in my description for you to follow. So once you've hacked your system and you have HackGCE running, go to the Modules tab and then the HackG Mod Store. You're going to go to the RetroArch tab and then install the newest version of RetroArch Neo. Just hit the download module button right here. Then you want to go to the RetroArch Cores tab. You're going to scroll down to the PC Engine tab, which was the TurboGrafx-16 name in the other countries. You want the Mednafin PCE Fast Core. Once again, just hit the download module button and it will add that to your HackG program. Close out the mod store, go back to your modules tab, then install extra modules. You're going to put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo if you haven't installed that already, and then Mednafin PCE Fast. Hit this OK button and a bar will appear on your screen. Once that bar is filled up all the way, it means that these cores are installed to your system and ready to be used. You also have to make sure you install the BIOS files to make this core work properly. You will need two of them. You need syscard3.pce and geexpress.pce. Make sure they are spelled correctly and they are this case right here, everything lowercase. I'll put my BIOS installer video in my description to help you install these as well. So regular TurboGrafx-16 games were on Hue cards, which were like cartridges on other systems that you're familiar with. So to add those, you just go to add more games. You're going to navigate to the folder where you downloaded your ROM, double click it, and then hit the open button. And then it will add it to your list in HackGCE. These games can be compressed since they are cartridges. For CD games, there's a little bit more work you have to do. For this example, we're going to use Castlevania Rondo of Blood. With the copy that I downloaded, it came with an ISO file and a Q file. What we need to do is first rename this ISO file to .bin. So now we have a bin and a Q file. The next step is to right click the Q file and open it up with Notepad++. What we have to change is this right here, the .iso. It has to match what we have here with the .bin. So take out the ISO, and this is also case sensitive. So we're gonna add bin, all lowercase, we're going to save it. Now we're going to use a program called CHD Man, and I'll leave a copy of this program in my description for you to download. You have to take your bin and Q file and put it in the same folder as the exe file and the batch file. Then you just double click the batch file, and you'll see that it is turning both of those files into what's called a CHD file. Along with combining those two files, it's also compressing it, so it's going to save a little bit of space on your system. So once it's finished, you're going to go back to your HackGCE program and hit the Add More Games button. We're going to navigate to where our CHD file is, highlight it, and click open. Because this is a disk game, you cannot have this compressed. You have to leave it uncompressed or it will not work. If you look at the command line, it says slash bin slash CHD. You're going to change whatever is in this position right here to PCE. So it's going to look just like this for both games. After you're finished, you just synchronize the games to your system or you export them to your flash drive and you're ready to go. So let's go check out how these Turbo Graphics games run. All right, we're gonna take a look at JJ and Jeff first, which of all the games they could have ported over to the American side, I don't know why they picked one with two Japanese comedians that we know nothing about. They had to edit this game heavily. Anyway, the run button, which is start, get to select between either one of those. I guess will be Jeff. He's got some cool sunglasses. So apparently we're detectives. We solve cases by sliding around and kicking each other. Oh, okay, so he's done with that. Oh, and apparently you kick everything and collect coins and bugs. And the bathroom door. No, refilled our life for us, okay. So sometimes there's life in palm trees and plants. And that bird just pooped on me, or tried to, and I got killed by a dog because I was too busy distracted by the poop. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Adventure Island, where you jump around and collect the fruit. I don't know. Let's just move on to Castlevania. Okay, so let's go into my game. I haven't really gotten anywhere, I just started it. Because I'm going to play this later. So this runs really good. I mean, everything sounds so nice on this too. Really good soundtrack. Also, the Turbo Graphics controller only had two buttons, so that works well for the NES Classic users. Great, we have skeletons coming out of windows and throwing barrels at us Donkey Kong style. 
Unless you hit the barrel first. Oh, we got a biggins. Oh boy, okay. Also, if you hit the select button, you do your item crash, which is pretty cool. Am I hurting him? I don't think I can hurt him from the legs. Took him down. All right, easy. Looks like we're fighting a dragon now. That's great. Good thing I have this axe weapon. Okay, lots of fire there. Maybe this will help some. Didn't help enough. Yeah, I'm not going to be shown up by a level one dragon. So there we go. So there you have it. Turbo Graphics and Turbo Graphics CD games. They both run really good on the classic system. Make sure you keep coming back. I have a lot more things to show what you can do with your system. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.